Hey everyone, this is Anam Chahar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the summary of lesson number 7, The Necklace, from the book Footprints Without Feet of Class 10. The necklace describes the unfortunate incident that happens to a lower middle class woman, Matilda, who was never content with who she was and what she had. She always felt sad about the lack of lavish lifestyle. She always grips about her situation. She always complains and due to this nature only, she has to face a lot of difficulties. Let's talk about the theme of the story. The story is based on the theme that unrealistic aspirations bring frustration and discontentment. There is a sub-theme also. The later half of the story highlights how adversity shapes an individual into a stronger and a mature human being. All the difficulties that Matilda has to face after a particular incident. Now this incident we'll discuss in the story as in what happens. So after all the difficulties that she has to face, shapes her into a stronger woman and makes her develop a sense of pride about herself. It makes her develop a sense of pride about her abilities and enhances her self-esteem. Let's begin the story. The lead character is a woman. Her name is Matilda. Matilda is a very pretty and charming woman. She is extremely beautiful. She feels that she is born to enjoy all the delicacies and luxuries of life. She thinks that she deserves a lavish lifestyle. But unfortunately, she belongs to a poor family and she is too poor to afford her rich dreams. So, she is never satisfied with her life and what she has. She is always cursing her destiny. Matilda is married to Loisel a clerk at the Board of Education. After marriage, she makes her life even more miserable by comparing her reality with her dreams. By comparing her humble reality with her big dreams of living a life of affluence and luxury, she makes her life miserable. She dreams of having expensive dresses and jewels, but she has nothing as such. Her husband is a good man. He loves her. He cares for her a lot and he tries to cheer her up by admiring the little blessings of their ordinary life. He tries to make her see the bright side. He tries to make her see the good things about their life, but he never succeeds. Matilda constantly makes her life miserable by dreaming of things that she didn't have. One day, he brings to her invitation to a party from the Minister of Public Instruction. It's a high-class, lavish party, so he thinks that Matilda would be happy to see the invitation. But nothing like that happens. In fact, she feels even more miserable on getting this invitation. She says that she can't go to the party as she doesn't have a nice dress to wear. She says that none of her dresses are good enough for the grand occasion. To make her happy, her husband tells her to purchase a new dress. He had been saving some money to purchase a hunting gun so that he could join his friends when they went for hunting. So this money that he had saved to buy a hunting gun for himself he gives it away to Matilda so that she could buy a dress. So he gives her 400 francs, which is a good sum of money. With this money, Matilda purchases a beautiful gown. A few days before the ball party, Loisel notices that Matilda is sad again. When he asks her the reason behind her sadness, and gloomy appearance, sad appearance, 
she reveals that she doesn't have a decent piece of jewelry to match the gown. Loisel advises her to wear some natural flowers, but Matilda doesn't like this advice. Then he suggests her that she can take the jewelry from her rich friend, Madame Forestier. Finding this to be a good idea, Matilda goes to her friend the next day and shares her problem. Madame Forestier is a nice lady. She offers the entire box of jewels to Matilda so that she can take a piece of her choice. After seeing all the pieces, she finally selects a beautiful necklace of diamonds. Then comes the day of the ball party. On the day of the ball, Matilda is very happy. She reaches there dressed in her new gown adorned by the diamond necklace. She looks extremely beautiful. Her charm and beauty draws the attention of everyone in that party. Matilda enjoys all the attention while her husband waits patiently for her in a corner. She doesn't want to leave the party and she wants to enjoy the party and you know she wants to enjoy all the attention. So the couple finally leaves for home at four o'clock in the morning. They have difficulty in finding a carriage but finally, they get a carriage and uh, they are so tired. They are really, really tired by the time they reach home. After reaching home, before uh, changing her clothes, Matilda looks into the mirror to admire her own beauty. And then suddenly, she notices that her necklace is missing. She is shocked. Loisel uh, goes back to all the places that they had been to just to search for the necklace. He looks everywhere for the lost necklace but to no avail. He fails to find it. He cannot find the lost necklace anywhere. Finally, he advises Matilda to write to her friend that she has broken the clasp of the necklace and that she would return, uh, she would have it repaired and return it afterwards. Loisel just wanted to buy some time to replace the necklace. So he tries his best. He tries to find it at all the places they, uh, that they had been to. He even uh, advertises in the newspaper. He also offers a reward, but the necklace is lost. When he fails to find the original necklace, he decides to replace it with another one. At the jewelry shop, he finds an exact replica of the lost necklace, but it's very expensive. It is valued at 40,000 francs, but is available for 36,000 after discount. Loisel has only 18,000 francs, which he had inherited from his father. So he takes a loan for the remaining amount and he purchases the necklace. So he goes and purchases the new diamond necklace for 36,000 francs. Matilda returns it to her friend and is relieved that the change, the so-called change remains hidden. Madame Forestier doesn't notice that the necklace has been replaced. After this incident, a long period of struggle begins for Loisel and Matilda. To repay the debt, they have to save every penny. They cut down their expenses and adopt an economical lifestyle. They send away the maid and now Matilda herself has to do all the household works. They leave their house also. They have to change their house also. Now, they rent some rooms in an attic. Loisel has to work overtime. The next 10 years, the next 10 years, Matilda lives in utter poverty and misery. She is not beautiful any longer.
After all this poverty, she is not beautiful any longer. Her face becomes wrinkled. Her unkempt hair and untidy clothes give her an ugly look. So her all her beauty fades away. One day, when she goes to the market, she happens to meet. She happens to see Madame Forestier, who is walking with a child. Her old friend, Madame Forestier. She still looks young and pretty. Although Matilda feels bad about herself, but she decides to go and talk to her old friend. Years of hard work reflects in Matilda's appearance. Madame Forestier finds it difficult to recognize her. Like I said, due to all the misery and poverty, her beauty fades away. So Madame Forestier finds it difficult to recognize her friend. And when finally she recognizes her, when she recognizes Matilda, she asks her the reason behind such a drastic change. Matilda tells the reason. She accuses her for the hard times that she had seen and discloses the truth about the lost necklace. Then comes a shock. A deeply touched Madame Forestier tells Matilda that the diamond necklace that she had lent her was actually a piece of cheap imitation jewelry worth not over 500 francs. It was a fake necklace. It wasn't a diamond necklace. So the story and this is the end of the story. So this story conveys the message that unreasonable demands and unrealistic desires can prove to be disastrous as it did in the case of Matilda. Matilda had enough to live happily, but her desire for the extravagance deprived her even of the little that she had. She had to lose what she had. Therefore, the story gives the message that one should live within one's means. So yeah, that's all about it. If you like the video, if you found the video useful, then please subscribe to my channel and you can also leave comments. Thank you.